Hi everyone, this is Bodacious Gamer, and we are playing God of War. And in our last episode, we had a fight with Boulder, probably the final fight in the game. We actually um, killed him, and Freya didn't take it too well, which is understandable considering it's her child. She wanted to give up her life for him, and she didn't get to kind of get that peace between them because she needed forgiveness from her son and it was taken away from her also we killed him which we took away from her um, so she wasn't too pleased at the end of the last episode maybe we find out you know what happens to her oh, try us jumping about maybe we find out what happens to her see if you know anything changes in the meantime before the end of the game but um, other than that I say let's just get on with this get to Jotunheim finally because we've been trying to get there you know, on and off saying that oh we're almost there we're almost there and then something gets in our way right at the end you know um, we went through Tia's puzzles his vault we got eaten by the world serpent Yomangander we found uh, Mamiya's eye and then Boulder attacked so a lot of stuff has kind of like hindered our progress in terms of getting there also the gate was destroyed originally on top of the uh, mountain. So uh, let's get going. I'm going to take the gate back to uh, Brock's shop. I'm going to say hi to Brock one last Brock and Sindri actually one last time because I'm pretty sure oh, man. this is it. Yes, that's a terrible pity. <laughs> I don't think Mia enjoyed that. Come on, gate, where are you? There we are. Right, boys, if we don't see you, take care of yourselves. Let's go. To Jotunheim. I can't believe we're gonna see the giants. Well, if things work according to plan. <coughs> Go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably. Which one is it? Which one is it? Oh, there you go. Doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, I haven't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this in a while. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? That's a poison! Smell, boy! guys I want please before we continue listen the last thing you two need up there's a decomposing the heat ruin in the moment why don't I wait for you here this is between you and the boy true but if someone wants to fight lady sips up perfect slashes <laughs> you done did it Sorry. Sorry, we had we to had see to this. See this. 
Oh, no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. <laughs> no, no, I can't. Oh. Like the one person you don't okay. throw a head at. Ready. Come. It's nice that though, you didn't you just had a really kind of aggressive violent moment with Boulder. You've got this kind of somber calming moment, and in between you've got You've got kind of a little bit of comedy broken up there by Mamiya and Brock and Sindri. It's nice. I love this bit. Such wonderful colours and you get a sense of peace coming into this area. It's um, calming is the word I want to use. Here we go. Look! We're on the giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did it. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. There's no need for no need for bandages anymore. He's told Atreus everything, he knows everything. That's nice. He's letting him hold his mother, mother's ashes um, in the last moments. Hmm. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgar. What was left of them. Awesome statues. So is this like a statue of them kind of escaping from Midgard? Why from, can't uh, all these faces? Ersias and Odin and Thor? What if this Thor? is all the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. Odin and Thor, ruining everything for everybody. Like a... Muriel. Better law, let's read it. The Dream of Midgard. Midgard was a dream of what could be if we shared and collaborated. Jotnar, Aesir, Vanir, Elf, Dwarf and mortals most of all. It was beautiful, but not everyone is capable of sharing. Some believe anything uncontrolled is savage and threatening, and so we were mocked and tricked and used and then slaughtered. Odin and his tribe were barred from our realm, but it was not enough. The wrath of Thor and his terrible hammer had 
thinned our numbers in Midgard to the brink of ruin. There is no option but to withdraw, while yet any live to do so. Odin and Thor would have killed all the giants if they could, and they got away with everything. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of uh, Odin and Thor in this game. They sound like assholes. Well, to the giants came back home so they could survive, but I'm not sure they did. They come back all injured and messed up. Huh? Who's the guardian? Gonna get another lore added. You can read. Okay. The guardian returns. We foresee Midgard's fate. Overrun a second hell. Neither Odin nor his dead may have reached Jotunheim. The ways must be shut. The serpent and the guardian remains. So, Yomangander and the guardian. They alone shall keep our hope when doom befalls the indestructible, which is Balder. Only then shall the guardian return. Ah, oh, okay. Until then, we await a better world, one without fear, without greed, without war. We wait for deliverance and justice. We wait for a champion. We will wait for word that gods grow good. Hope that worlds get here soon. Hope hope that world gets here soon. I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. Two tablets. What happened? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. So great. Yeah, this place is like empty. Wait, Father, something's happening. But how? And our fight with Balder! But that just happened. Wait. So this is some kind of prediction. They knew inscribed onto the wall. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. Like key oh, moments throughout the entire game. This is our story. No. This is your story. But what does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. <laughs> you didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. There's half god, half giant. Why tell us? And that's her uh, burning? No way we would find this. But why not just tell us the truth? Your mother would have had good reasons. Baldur was never sent to fight me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, it's when he cut down the uh, the golden trees around the perimeter. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on, we're so close to the end now. Yes. Is 
Atreus, something's coming out of his mouth. Atreus holding Kratos. Is Kratos dead at that point? Or dying? Or just, you know, laying down? So all this... See, we don't know how she died, what she died of. I mean, obviously what we do know is that she she negotiated with um, the giants. She had the axe. She stayed in Midgard. And then, obviously, she predicted their whole journey. Oh, is that Freya? That might be Freya animating Thumber. It's pretty cool. And they've covered that back up so you can't see that again. I don't know, I didn't have that, the kind of, you know, um, first time response from finding all this out I have I knew all this that's why throughout that entire moment I didn't really want to say anything because anyone who isn't who is watching and, and playing this and watching this for the first time and didn't know this and you know I've, I've got a friend who's playing it and he's just completed this game and he made those connections prior to seeing this wall he made a lot of them actually um, because he knows a thing or two about Norse mythology and it's, you know, about like, Boulder is the start of Ragnarok, so when Boulder dies, Ragnarok's supposed to start all these other things. If you know all that about Nord, uh, Nordic mythology, it all kind of makes sense. But, yeah, you don't, I don't even, do we know a name? I don't even think we know a name. Not at the minute, like, you know. Look, it's Mother's. It's mother's. She, she was, was here. here. She saw she every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it. That's the same handprint that was on the trees right at the beginning. Um, that's what I was saying. The trees, the trees she marked when they broke that tree line. It basically announced, you know. Are we going up or not? It basically announced to um, to the Aesir gods where they were. Or where Kratos was, anyway. They must have sensed his presence. I see a hand. Now this is pretty mental. Here we go guys. He actually called him son, I've just realised it's not boy or Atreus, he actually called him son. That's huge. All the um, giants Goodbye. sprawled all over the land. I love you. Giants. giants. 
They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me Loki. Oh, there we go. Loki. Nordic god of mischief. That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. Mother's ashes complete. So I accidentally spoke over a section there. Um, his mother's name was Faye. I accidentally spoke over that section with Kratos was saying his farewells. So she called Faye. Yeah, I'm. I'm coming, boy. So I had to do that one last time. And I don't have the deepest of voices. And, you know, Trace was saying they made it through, uh, away from Odin and Thor, they ran to survive. But obviously they were like, a lot of them must have been injured, or have they been fighting in Jotunheim before they got a chance to shut the gates? I don't know, but obviously none have survived. just oh, it's so cool such a fantastic game um yeah I, I know I've got it we're, we're done I'm talking here come on Atreus don't be rude obviously being called Loki that's a nice little plot twist that I, I personally didn't see coming once again my friend who's completed it he kind of saw it he said it made sense but I didn't see it and I loved that what first time because it's you know it's Loki now, obviously through Marvel, I kind of know him as Thor's half-brother, but obviously they've messed about with that mythology. I'm going to have to do some research into Loki and see what he actually is and what um, he is in relation to the other Nordic gods. But I think it's brilliant. Absolutely amazing. Hey, um, check this yeah. out. What are we checking out over here? What? Yeah, dead giants. Huge, huge, dead, mountainous giants. It's tragic. It's your race, and they're gone. You are the l well, apart from you and the giant bloody snake, you're the last giants. Okay. Guess it all makes sense then. Why she wanna end up here? Be with your kind. But did she know it was gonna be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people, or keep the secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So this is the second time I've complete. So oh, so sorry, Tress. <laughs> no, he was a soldier, a Spartan. The great warrior. All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us, goodness. 
When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of bad stories that Kratos has told throughout the entire story uh, journey is just uh, yeah, it's about time he told a good one. Let's leave it a second before I uh, discuss some stuff because I don't know what other dialogue's going to come up. And what would Loki do? Oh, good question. That's a weird name. I'm glad you went with yours. Mamiya, what are you doing on the floor, mate? I'm glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven char. What happened, Mamiya? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. <laughs> How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? Okay, explore with Atreus. Continue exploring complete dwarven favours, which we've all done, free dragons, which we've done. Travel to Muspelheim and Niflheim, which off camera I did. I'm sorry about that, guys. Find new items in the shop to get powerful equipment that will allow you to defeat all legendary corrupted Valkyries. The Valkyries revealed. Locations of all corrupted Valkyries have been revealed on your map. And yeah, there you are. There's one. There's two. Um, there's quite a few left. So new game plus allows you to start a new game with, while maintaining the equipment, XP, hack silver, and purchase items. New game plus can be accessed anytime from within the game option menu. And then you can see it there. But we're not done yet. Okay. Back to Midgard. There's a lot, not a lot. It used to be a bit of a, a secret and some people didn't know. But obviously, if you, it's been out a while, this game now. And it's been discussed. Now, technically, we've Before finished we the story. To Midgard, I should warn you. More time has passed than you like to realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Baldur, it's become something else. The stuff of omens. Omens? For the coming of winter? Not just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, Ragnarok begins. Ragnarok? From snow? Ah, snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that proximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. Yeah, Kratos isn't present in the original tale of Ragnarok. So he completely changed the timeline. I'm telling you, it's Fimbleweed. I can feel it in my throat. <laughs> this is the big thing. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of reason? Nice. Just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble winter's upon us, boys. The winner to end all winners. I can feel it in my scroll. Yeah. yeah. We heard. So okay, that scroll home, reference. Try to keep moving, and also to not die. Or if you're not heading home, same advice. Thank you, boys. I bid you adieu. I want to see this snow, just real quick. Let's. let's... Well, it's not. I've seen. No, come on. It's not bad. It is snowing, but it's not exactly, you know, it's not even settling. Yeah. 
We did worse snow than that last year. Right, okay, so. As I was saying, technically we have finished the game. You know, you don't have to do all the little small things and, and everything else. But, if we go back home, there is a like a an ex a bonus ending, if you will, and that's what we're going to activate now. One final trip round the uh, world, round Yggdrasil. I always forget the names. Here we go. So as you know, it's as you know, Brock um, and Sindri were talking about coming back we're home and not coming back home. home. Feels, Feels like, like a lifetime, lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. <laughs> um, you know, you would come back home after a long journey. And it's kind of encouraged if you want to see like this extended ending. And I love that they put this in. I really do. So... It's a bit rest. of a surprise. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Well, three summers of it. Now I haven't found them, but there's supposed to be rooms hidden in the corners, which actually spell Loki if you put them in the correct order. I don't know where they Aren't are. You tired? Um, I might have to look that up at some point. But yeah, that can actually be discovered very early on in the game I just haven't I've never discovered it some people have got some very keen eyes all right here we go guys okay this well-earned rest sleep way ahead of you I wonder who that could be. It's Thor. And he is not pleased. And that is it, guys. This is my first ever playthrough on my channel. I'm so, so pleased that I chose this game for my first ever game to play. Cora Balog and the people at Santa Monica Studio have done just just an amazing job with this game. The graphics, the storytelling, the voiceover, the progression, the pacing, the you know, the, everything. It's such a brilliant game and I just, you know, I owe my hands up, shout out to Cora Balog and the guys up at Santa Monica Studios. They should be so, so proud of themselves because this is by far one of the best games I've played in a very, very long time. Um, I'm very much into story driven games like The Last of Us Uncharted, um, Horizon Zero Dawn, those sort of games. This is up there. The story in this game is just brilliant and I'm very excited for what they do with the next one. Hopefully there is a next one, obviously that's not been announced, probably years and years and years away. <coughs> but 
I love this game. And even though you've, you've watched this all the way through, so you kind of know the plot now, I honestly suggest if you've got a PS4 and you don't have this game, you've never played it, grab a copy, play this game. It's so, so good. It's a lot of fun. The, the axe feels fantastic. The blades feel fantastic. Um, the runics are fun. And you can play in your own style. You can do that rage build. You can do a runic build. You can do um, a cooldown build. You can do a, a stun build. There's so, diff so many different ways you can do this game. Um, I just can't say enough about it. It's so, so, so good. Um, and Mamiya's awesome. I just want to put that as a separate note. Mamiya's awesome. He's the, the timing on the use of him to kind of break up the tension and, and change the mood a little bit. It's just perfect. Absolutely amazing. Um, so, right, so guys, this is the this is the end of God of War. But I will be back with another uh, Let's Play. My next game will be Spider-Man, which is due on the 7th of September, so I should have a video by the 8th of September. It's been an absolute pleasure doing this for everybody and and if you are watching it and you've enjoyed it thank you so much for sticking with me I know there's been up and downs maybe in the audio and the quality and stuff but this is my first ever playthrough I'm learning as I go along and I will you know, get this right I promise you thank you so so much and for now this is Bodacious Gamer saying goodbye but I hope to see you again on my next playthrough for Spider-Man. Take care, Bodacious viewers. Have some fun. I'm just going to leave the credits rolling. And um, let's leave it to the end. Thank you very much, guys. Bye.
Atreus, are you ready? Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. Fimble winter was ending, and Thor came for us, here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like... the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come. <laughs>